Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Damas. How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good, thank you. And don't call me sir, please. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know some people, kids that I go to school with are telling me I was 30 years old, but I'm 44. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm only 25, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's an undisclosed thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. No problem, man. Yeah, this is pretty amazing that I'm getting these type of guests on the show. So um, I'm going to start off. Basically, my name is Thomas Kilbasinski, tutor, teacher, author, podcast host. And we record shows up to an hour. If it takes okay. that, sometimes it's 30 minutes. Sorry for the confusion because I just got in that door like 20 minutes ago. It's been a very busy That's day. That's all right. All right. So you're from the UK, I take it, right? Yes, I am. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Cool. First person I've ever interviewed from there now. That's good. Another country added to the list. Okay, so here's what it comes down to. We ask you five questions. You give us your analysis on it. Um, once it's done, it gets uh, put in my video system, and then it gets put on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and Facebook, and then you get awesome. to see it on it. So it's really something. We've grown from like a few subscribers to a few hundred. And I've been wow. interviewing on TV shows that I've beat them all. We have that we don't have a we don't have thousands, but we're it's starting. Oh that that's a good start. That's always a start. And that's what I'm yeah. looking to get. Yep. So let's see here. The first question is what made you create life index? This is the mice of my mother. I lost her three years ago to oh. COVID and cancer. Yeah, and that. yeah, that's all right. Now I've lost her, but I haven't lost her forever. And that's where we thought of what do we do? Because, you know, over a period of time, we forget people. And if I asked you, what do you know about your great grandparents? You'll come back and say nothing of very minimal. And that's what I do not want my mom to be lost with because she's done so much for me. She is my hero. She's meant to be my hero forever. And I don't want her to be lost. And I don't want her ever to be not remembered by, by the next generations. So that's where we came up with, uh, we started pondering upon. Do we put up a statue somewhere wherever she lived um, when she was growing up so people know her around? But how long will it survive for? And how many people would really get to know her story? So we scraped that, and then I came up with the idea of putting up a bench. When you go to parks, you will see loads of benches with the names on it. Do I want to dedicate a bench, but will people really get to know her story? Would my next generations get to know her story? And that's when I said, no, none of those will tell her story. Let's come up with an idea where something will last forever, and we'll talk about her. We'll tell her stories like we talk about President King of Queens and everybody else. I want her to be remembered the same way. Maybe not the entire world, but at least my family or my next generations. And that's where Life Index was brought into life. That's very, very good. Yeah. I'll tell you a little okay. short story. I had my mother. Sure. She was alive for 56 years. And she died on Valentine's Day. She was not supposed to die. She was supposed to, She recovered. I guess, you know what? Things happen on a purposely, but she's still above their guy, sure. for sure. So, you yeah. know, there's memories we have of our parents, but, you know, then you also know that you're a big kid now and you want to, you know, be responsible, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Your parents are right. always going to be around your corner, whether it be spiritual or in real life and have memories of, you know, when they were alive. So True. it's it's one of those things, you know, and then for you to do what you're doing for your mother, that's great. That's awesome. Because not people, people just forget about what their parents did for them. You know, they're playing stuff. Very, very true. So let's go to the next question. How does life index help people deal with loss in a digital world? So, you know, but what we are, we are a platform where you could have your next generations know about these people. As of today, the only people that we know in history are the kings, queens, president, prime ministers, the, king, the, the rich and famous. 
but us were forgotten as common people. And the entire motive behind Life Index is to make sure that every family member is remembered and remembered forever. So the next generations get to know of them. As of today, or as of before our platform, if you try looking for your ancestors, you will find nothing of them. And there are platforms out there which claim they've got a DNA and they'll look for something for you. But at the end of the day, DNA was brought in in 1960s or 1950s. We can't go beyond that and look for our DNA because there was no uh, recollection. There were no, uh, you know, there was no data of that kind. So we can't find those people. But then even with the DNA, what can you find? You can only find a name and a date of birth and death date or a city they lived in. What about the entire story? What about their struggles? What about the time it took them to bring you up? And that's the entire thing about Life Index too. Make sure that we preserve that so next generations can get to know and learn from that. As, as we say, you know, history teaches a lo uh, us a lot. So we want that history of our families to teach us a lot. You know, it's the creed, it's the culture, it's the heritage that we have. And that's the that's brought from a family, not from a country, not from millions of people around you. Same. Same. All right. Very good answer. And how long have you I'm gonna add an additional question to this? Sure. How long do you have a, like a company motto or something? Like like Walmart, save money, live better. Right. Like that. Yes, we do. We have preserve every story. No story should be untold. So that's what it is. Yeah. You know, when, when we look at uh, these big monuments, you look at, uh, let's say you look at America and you look at uh, the White House. Do we know the story of the people who put sweat and blood into making that White House? No, we don't. Doesn't don't you think that those stories matter as much as those people who spent the money to that to be built, or the government which built it, or the president who built it? But those individuals should be remembered so that tomorrow, if our kids come back and they say, you know what, my great 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 grandfather laid a foundation stone or laid a stone in this, and that'd be the proud moment that we want to bring back everybody with. That's awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's always good to have a company motto. Yeah. Um, mine is with the tutor and teacher part, never give up. Always give a motivation. There's always that person, even with a disability, that can dream big and they can become the president of the United States or CEO of a big company for sure. True. So, yes. All right. Question number three Can you share a powerful story that has been shared on Life Index? Well, there are loads of stories that are shared on Life Index. So as of today, we've got 9,000 users across the world, be it from India, be it from Pakistan, be it from Bangladesh, be it from US, be it from China, Japan, Nigeria, Iran, Syria. People are coming forward to preserve those details because we've realized one thing that in the in past about, let's look at about two years from now, uh, which have passed by. We've had wars happening. We've got COVID, which has passed by, which took loads of lives and lives are being lost every day. And in the past, let's say in just one year, we've lost 66.7 million lives. Where's the count? Where is that story of these individuals? And do we just leave them in vain? Do we just let them go? And that's the reason why we have this. And we have a very successful story. My mom's story is the most successful one. As of today, if you type her name on Google, even if you don't go on our website, you'll find her name right at the top on Google where you know LinkedIn and Facebook has been able to take that space. But Life Index has taken that space because we've brought in something different. And uh, if you want, I can show you that little thing. If you type my mom's name, it'll come right at the top. On, um, on Google, oh, yeah. we have a story. If you want to do a screen share too, I mean, that's sure. going to do yeah. that. Uh, how about this? Uh, let me uh, you do that on your side because what will happen? Because I've got cookies at my end because they'll keep showing oh, okay. up at the front. But if you do it at our at your end, what you will be able to see is actually because I've never touched your phone, you've never been around me, so you don't know who I am or you don't know who my mother is. But if it shows up on first and second on your platform, which means that it's been happening globally. Yeah, give me one second here. Sure, no worries, take your time. 
Wait a second, one minute. Something's being stupid here. Being really dumb. Actually, let me... So I can do this. Okay, how do you spell her name? Okay, I'm just putting this in the chat. Oh, and okay. you can take it from there, yeah. So that's her name. Oh, wow, what a name. Yeah. Okay. If you put that on Google, copy and paste, and just hit enter. And what do you see right at the top? Do you see life index at the top? Yes, yep. Yeah. So that's that's what we've been able to do. Let's say if you use any other platform and you put in, and there are loads of social medias that you can make groups for these people. But will it ever show up right at the top if somebody searched for your deceased family member? It won't because it, it's a group that you've created. Over here, you commemorate these people who've gone away. And in the later future, if somebody starts looking for them, they'll be able to find them on Google. Wow. Wow. So exactly, what are the services that you provide and what do you charge for? So it's a very nominal fee that we charge, which is only $9, which is only one-time fee. We don't charge you anything after that. We don't charge you to see this platform. We don't charge you to go back and leave messages at the last messages for the person. We don't charge anything. What, the only time we charge you is when you're putting that information. And that gives us that information to verify as well. This is my mom's. These are my mom's details. You'll find everything about her, who she was, how did she live, what did she die of, how did she die, what city was she in, and all those kind of things. This is almost, you know what this reminds me of? It almost sure. reminds me of Ancestry, if you know what right. Ancestry is. It shows yeah. all the profiles of different people. Some of them don't have pictures because it's so old. But, you know, right. this is something... This was a great idea, sir. I, I love it. I totally. Love I'll tell it. you one thing about Ancestry. Ancestry, what it does, it takes your DNA and starts looking around for people. Now, if you're looking for a DNA, it won't give you the entire story because DNA was established in 1950s and 1960s. Anything before that, you won't be able to. It won't tell you a story about that person. It'll just give you a name and a wow. date of birth to the maximum. Whereas uh, you can find the same thing on a gravestone or a tombstone, but can you find the entire story of this person was our motive. Wow, great thinking. You know, it's not easy to be a CEO because you have to figure out what is an idea or invention that I can beat the competition with? And Correct. you definitely have that right here. That's an excellent job, sir. Uh, I'm Thank pretty you. impressed. And with a small fee like that, I mean, you can, you can kick anybody's butt with that. I mean, that's unbelievable. <laughs> we, we try to do our best. And uh, also with the Ancestry and us, you'll see a difference of fee. They charge you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yes. We charge only a one-time fee. Yeah. So I don't see it. An Ancestry wants to charge like $200 for, I want to look up Ancestors. No, I don't think so. I just, I'll figure it out. I'll research it on my own. All right. So, yeah. Not only that, will Ancestry be able to do what we've been able to do on Google? If you searched a deceased family member's name, would Ancestry show it up over there? Well, I can say this. Like my grandfather was a state trooper for 27 years. Because right. like most of his information showed up. Okay. But finding pictures of these people are a royal pain. Cannot do that. Or specific details without either paying a fee for it or not even finding it. Not only that, Thomas, one thing about uh, Ancestry is you will only find military data because they've been able to connect and they, be, they have been able to get that data from the military archives. Nobody else, if you have somebody who hasn't been in the military, you won't be able to find their data. Wow. Solid, solid points all around. See. Also, a few, few more features that we have that Ancestry doesn't. We operate in 195 countries. Ancestry oh. only operates within UK and the USA, right? We operate in 108 languages. So let's say if uh, somebody from Iran wanted to go in and do it in Farsi, they could do it in Farsi. They don't have to put that information in English. Somebody wow. in Nigeria can do it in Yoruba. They don't have to do it in English because that's the local language in Nigeria. So they can put that information in Yoruba. So the next generation can understand and really live that culture. How long have you been running the company? 
It took us two years to build the entire platform, and we've been running it for roughly about six months now. In such six months, we've got a very good success. I would say so, darn. I don't, <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with technology. It really is. True. You know, old, old, young, really young, like kids. Right. Yeah, really, it doesn't matter what you can do. You can still be 80 years old and know how to run something really good. True. So that's amazing. That's awesome. I know my assistant definitely did a great job with this interview because she picked the right one for sure. That absolutely amazing <laughs> you. what you have accomplished. I mean, I don't, I, I've accomplished plenty, but not even close to that. I mean, it's just, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? There's always somebody out there. Like I said the other day, I had four degrees. I make money, but people, hey, there's always somebody out there that makes way more money than somebody else. So, True. I mean, you know. There's billionaires, millionaires, staff, and you know, it's all that other stuff that it's all about. Okay. Thomas, our, our purpose wasn't to make money. It's for, because it comes out of the heart. It comes out of emotions. I want to make sure that every family member has a story to tell. Every family member can leave that legacy behind. It's about a legacy. And we've lost so much. And we talk about gods and everything else. But do we talk about our own family members who've put so much of hard work into us to bring us where we are? You know what? I never thought of it like that. I'm sorry. Sometimes we get, but even me as a business owner, we just get too money hungry. You got to think about that too. You know what I mean? You got to think about who raised us, who brought us into the world. You know? That's another thing. Yeah. And trust me, I've ever looked at that pretty well to that sure. part. So you definitely brought a solid point. Not open up a business doesn't mean making just about money, but it also means making impacts on people's lives, telling a story, and talking about what's the bright side of it. Sure. Uh, why does it have to be history only about those people? Why do we only talk about uh, Abraham Lincoln? I'm sure there are a lot of other people who struggled during that time. Our parents, our great-grandparents struggled during that time. Why does it have to be about only Abraham Lincoln? Is he the only one? who made the country happen. It's those hundreds and millions of people who came together to make that country become that country. Yeah, it's true. It's very, very true. I mean, you're talking civil war, countries fighting against each other. You know, Correct. Battling for position, Virginia all the way down south, and then Pennsylvania, and then all of a sudden, you know, July 3rd, 4th, you know, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 1863. The North True. turning around. If the North doesn't turn around, guess what? We are looking at competitors. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so, I mean, True. it's like one of those things, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So let me go on to the next question here. Sure. Where do you see your company heading into the future? We want to be touching everybody's heart. That's the most important part. As we are established in 195 countries, we want to be in every little nook and corner of the family and every family coming back and preserving those details of every member that passes by. You know, there are young kids who die. There are older people who die. But do we ever remember them? Do, we, our, do, do our next generations get to know of them? And that's the motive. Let's get to know every soul that's walked this earth. Yeah. Okay, it sounds really good. Sounds very, very good. Thank you. Sorry, I got phone calls coming in. I don't <laughs> That's all right. It's it just crazy. <laughs> it just crazy here. Okay. Final question. How can Life Index help someone who's struggling with grief? So uh with Life Index being there, once you put that information out there, so with that, you can have people leave last messages. And the most amazing thing that I've learned from it, when people start leaving those messages and you start realizing how many people you, how many people love that person, brings loads of memories back to you. And you find some solace in someone or the other out there to go back and talk to these people and thank them for what they've done with their parents or whoever that member was, that brings a lot of joy. So we have this success story. The gentleman's father passed away on the 16th of January. On the 19th of January, he posted everything about him. On the 19th itself, once the 
profile went live, he went ahead and shared the link with everybody across. And 170 people came back to write their last messages. The granddaughter reads those messages at least twice or thrice within the entire month since it started off. Wow. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So it brings you a lot of hope. It brings you a lot of courage. It brings you a lot of memories. It brings you a lot of love for those people. And those little things, though, and anecdotes and those things which have been said about by the people brings you closer to those people that you might never have known or never will get to know of them, but that brings you closer to them. You know what that makes me think of doing? You, you've done a persuasion essay here. It makes me want to buy it because I might <laughs> want to do it for my father and my mother, put a picture up there and say, hey, this is what she was about. Um, you know, because I have enough information on the picture, right. um, you know, memories and stuff like that. Because, you know, when you were a kid, you know, they, they, they live for dollar to dollar, basically. Right. And from what I, the way I'm living right now, I mean, okay, it's a way easier to be on your own. But when you have, I mean, I, I just went through a real big struggle, but now I'm starting to come back in a big way. So everybody has their business where, you know, True. they go through their hots and cold streaks. So I definitely want to purchase that. I want to try, try to see, you know, look on the website and get that together. Um. I would like to get your contact information. Sure. I'm also going to send you a review link on what you thought of the show. So um, it goes to a Bark website in UK, believe it or not, based in UK. Awesome. And um, just tell me your feedback on it. Uh, okay. It doesn't sound like there would be any negative feedback because everybody's always excited to get on a show like and, you know, we might not have a million viewers, but we have enough that got me interested in this and, uh, you know, like books out in the market and tutoring, teaching, and a few fans here and there that have like, different schools that I go to. And, right. You know, people that I work with throughout the world here, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is. So That's perfect. Uh, I shall give you a review. That shouldn't be a problem. All right. So what I'm going to do here is, you know, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will, how about if I do this? Um, do you have a WhatsApp number, a chance? Yes, I do. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in the chat right now for you. There you go. Oh, wait. Let's see. Did I even get it? Oh, there it is. I don't know why it came, came up. Wait, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess my even having pretty good provider sometimes it just lacks. Okay, we'll see. Let me do this. And Thomas, could I request you to use the platform, put at least your um, dead mom, and uh, if you can put it, uh, you know, what happened with me when I started building this and we started putting in details of my mother, then I realized my grand my uncle passed away. Then I realized my grandfather passed away a long time ago before I could see him. I put his details. Then I even found out my great grandfather's details. And luckily my grandmother's still alive so I could find more details about my great, great, great grandfather. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can. Okay, yep, it came up. Okay, what I'll do is I'll send the information over to you. Let's keep sure. in touch. Let's keep in touch. <clears throat> Let's do that. And go from there. You know, we have two different types of businesses. Obviously, sure. you do something totally different than what I do. But I'll tell you what, I do have people that like that stuff and they're usually looking for something that cheap to buy. So if I know of anything, if you know people that need any tutoring or teaching or want to look at books and buy them, let me know. Sure. Um, I will trade yeah. we'll trade clients. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> it always works both ways. Yes, it does. This was a tremendous conversation, a privilege to have you on the show. And 
Uh, it looks like it went for about a half an hour, maybe. That was pretty good, though. Consider that it's easier to record at that size within an hour because it usually takes a lot longer. All right. All right. Well, it was a thrill having you. Have a great evening over there, and I will talk to you later. Sure. You take care. Yep, you too. Bye.